own Trisha. When she picked up her boyfriend's phone, another woman was on the line wanting to hook up. There was another girl on the line asking him to hang out. He swears the call was meant for his cousin. Pete need to be honest. He the one cheating. I don't appreciate my cousin David selling me down the river to save his own butt. And his cousin just happens to be dating her sister. David, who's cheating? Pete. Oh. Man, it's David. It's you. Two sisters. I need to know what the hell is going on. I want to know who's lying and who's telling the truth. Two cousins. How well do you know the woman that called your phone? Well Not enough to be banging her. Oh. <laughs> Two lie detectors. David, do you know the woman who called your phone? Pete, we ask you, are you cheating with the woman who called David's phone? The polygraph determined. <laughs> he lured them both to the casting couch with promises of stardom. You're a music producer? Yes, ma'am. What exactly do you produce other than children? <laughs> oh. One, he left with four kids. How do you put a roof over their heads? We don't have a roof right now. We are homeless. Is this philandering impresario up to his old tricks? I found naked pictures. I found text messages. Uh, I can't help what they're seeing, you know. Do you use your music career as a way to seduce women? The polygraph determined that Chris. Oh, In my house! In oh, my house! Oh, In my house! Oh, Why is it that I feel that everything that comes out of your mouth is? Hey! Today on Trisha. and her sister Shandora. They're dating these cousins, Pete and David. Recently, Shandora found evidence suggesting her boyfriend David is a cheater. When she confronted him, he claimed it wasn't me and he pointed the finger at his cousin Pete. <laughs> Pete says he's innocent, that David is the one who's cheating and setting him up to take the fall. Well, at this point, these sisters know one thing is certain, someone is lying. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, it's a true relationship Who done it. Watch this. Aviance and Shandora, two sisters in love with cousins David and Pete. I love Pete with all my heart. We've been together eight years. Me and David have been together for two years. I'm four months pregnant with his child, and I love him. Despite their love, recently these women received a phone call that led them all the way here for a lie detector test. I picked up my boyfriend's phone, and it was another girl on the line asking him to hang out. When my sister confronted her boyfriend, he claimed that the call wasn't for him, that it was for my boyfriend, and that my boyfriend was cheating. One of us is being lied to and cheated on, and I want to know who. With both men pointing the finger at the other, this has not only caused problems for Pete and David's love lives, it's torn the family apart. I don't appreciate my cousin David selling me down the river to save his own butt. Look, I love my cousin, but my girl is four months pregnant. I don't want to lose her, so I can't clean and tell the truth. Pete need to be honest. He the one cheating. With accusations flying in all directions, today, these women are here for the truth. I need to know what the hell is going on. I want to know who's lying and who's telling the truth, and I want to know now. So... <laughs> it seems that this phone call started it all. I've t walk me through what, what happened in this phone call. Okay, so he gets off work, you know, really early in the morning. So this is, this is David. This is David. Yeah. That's my boyfriend. So he gets off really early in the morning, so his phone rang. I pick up the phone. It's a girl on the phone. What's up? So I'm like, hello? So I changed my voice. Hello? Like, you know, like a guy. <laughs> hello? Oh, oh, oh. So, you know, she like, what's up? So I'm like, hello? So I wake his butt up. Get up. Who's calling your phone? So here he go. Uh, uh, uh. He don't know. He don't know what's going on. You know, waking up out of his sleep. Yeah. So finally, he tell me that the phone call was for Pete, which is her boyfriend. Ah, so did you tell it? You told your sister this. Yes. Did exactly. you confront Pete? Yes, I confronted Pete. And, and what's he say? What he always say? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. And I did not believe it because he all he do is lie. 
Has he ever cheated on you before? Yes, he has cheated yeah. on me. Oh. Yes, he has cheated on her before. Yes. Tell me, Not tell me about me. that. Because you've been together for eight years? Yes. When did he cheat on you? I had just got off of work, and we noticed this car was following us. So she followed us all the way home, all the way home now. And then she got out and asked me who I was, and then she came out that her and P had been sleeping together for two years. <laughs> two years? Two years. So when you went to Pete and told him this, what, he, he fessed up? He said, yeah? He denied it, and she stood right there. They went back and forth, and he didn't have any other choice but to admit it. Do you think he's doing it again? Yes, of course. Oh. Of course. He lied before, he lied again. So, what makes you think he's cheating? Apart from that phone call, is there any other evidence, like his keeping something secret, changing the way he is? Different? Yes, if you've been at work for 12 hours, ain't no reason you should come home fresher than me. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and she's fresh. And she's fresh. Shandora, I understand that you've actually followed. Oh, me. let me tell you this, Trisha. Let me tell you. Okay, so, you know, David, you know, after the phone call, this yeah. is still d dealing with the phone call. So David was like, you know, well, it, it's Pete, it's Pete. So I say, you know what, let me just see if this really Pete or David, which is still him too, you, you're not off. No. So, <laughs> he, so he, um, I followed him, he got off work, you know, early, yeah. early than usual. So I followed him down this long road. He went the other direction instead of going home. Now, I went 20 miles down this road. Now, if he would have went 20 miles the other way, he would have been, been home. He would have been home. He would have been home with her. Where was he going? To go see the other girl that David said that he was cheating with. So when I told, when I brought it to her attention about the situation, Ooh. she addressed him, you know, about it, and he Go and tell me, it surprised me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me, as it always, me. it ain't it me. It wasn't me. But it's, that's the sister instinct. I believe her, like, this is my older sister. Why would she lie to me I and would, hurt me? I would not, yeah. Trisha, I yeah. wouldn't hurt her. You know, I want to know the truth, and I want her to know the truth now. Today. So, let me take you through some of the suspicious things women often say, or people often say happens when their partner's cheating. Mm -hmm. Their behavior changes. Uh, has his hours from work, of uh, coming home, has that, any of that changed? Yes, that change, and then, like, the sexual, he don't want to do nothing with me. He come home, and he gets straight to bed, goes straight to bed, and that's not Pete. Uh, no, I understand he's come home with some unexplained gifts. Yes, um, he come home with some shoes, some Jordans. I know he ain't bought. <laughs> Because um, his, his hours don't even add up. Like, so, so did you ask him about these shoes? And yes. That's what he said. He said he got them. When did you buy them? We always together when you, we ain't at work, so when did you buy them? He'll never have no money. Never. Never has never. never got no money. Never got no money. OK. Now, Shandora, let me ask you, how will you feel? Now, you say you think you think that David's cheating as yes, well. What of makes course. you think he's cheating? Well, Trisha, this one incident happened. Um, I went over to his house. And, you know, I, this, this guy was basically like, yeah, I should sleep with your girl. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Who's this guy? Some guy in the neighborhood. So Shout to him, I should sleep with your girl. Yeah, just we get out of the car, the girl, the guy say, I should sleep with your girl. So I'm trying to figure out why is this guy acting, you know, just basically saying something like that. So finally, David just like, you know, just go in the house, just go in the house. So I said, what is going on, David? What is going on? So he admitted, like, we both just sat there and we said that, you know, we was going to start telling the truth about stuff. So he admitted, but then he switched it around. Well, and hang on, what did he, he admit? He admit that he cheated before I got pregnant. It don't matter. Before y'all been together two years, she's only four ah. months. You shouldn't have cheated in. Exactly. Whoa. So what are you going to do? Let me ask you. you. You're a few months, four months pregnant? Yes, ma'am. What are you going to do if it comes back that David's been cheating? If David's been cheating, he can get his stuff, the little bit of stuff that you do got at my house, and you can get at my house now. As soon as we get back home, you got to go, and you know you got to go. He, he already knows you got to go. go. He already he knows you got to go. He got to get out. Yeah. OK. Yeah. You're saying, you're saying the same thing goes for Pete. Exactly. His bag's already packed before we came. <laughs> At the door. At the door. OK. At the door. We got well, go. As we said before, it's a true relationship who done it. So when we come back, we'll meet backstabbing cousins David and Pete and figure out who is lying. Stay tuned. Up next, 
is stabbing the other in the back. David, who's cheating? Pete. Oh. David. It's you. And later, he lured them both to the casting couch with promises of stardom. Why do you call him all the time? I have to call him when I have not one, not two, not three, but four kids. OK, you got four kids with him, but four, guess what? Lovers' lies and ugly truths. You are nothing! Today on Trisha. Talking to sisters Aviance and Shandora. Now they're dating first cousins David and Pete and say that a suspicious phone call has them convinced that one of their boyfriends, if not both, is cheating. Here's the question which one? When confronted with the evidence, David blamed Pete and Pete blamed David. Now, both cousins took lie detector tests, so the truth will be uncovered in a moment. But first, let's meet the cousins. Please welcome Pete and David. <laughs> Shouting, no one's talking. So, David, who's cheating? Pete. Oh, Man, it's David. It's you. <laughs> hang on, it's hang on. Both hang on. on. Let's hear. Let's hear. David, why do you think? Why do you think your cousin Pete is cheating? Because the girl called my phone. How why she get my you number? You Man, he, he got people up running up out of he could use my number. Do you feel betrayed by your cousin then? He's landed you in it. True. Man, D David knows what's going on. Yeah. David knows. True. We heard how Shandora followed. Man, Shandora followed another car. I got personal plate another on my car. car. Another car. Another car. Another car. I got a real car. I got a car. She knows exactly what his car looked like. How she followed another car? You're saying since three years ago, when three years ago, when you cheated with this woman for two years? I haven't even seen her ever oh, since. Oh no, that she stay away five miles down the road. That girl that you cheated with for two years. We're not talking about a yeah. one-off in a nightclub. We're talking in a relationship for two years. Uh -huh. It wasn't even no relationship. It was a money thing. What are you saying? It's a money thing. Explain to me this money thing. I mean, she was buying me stuff. Let's come to you, David. Um, this guy who said maybe I should sleep with your. <laughs> Maybe I should sleep with your yes, woman. Tell what was that about? When we got out of the car. Oh, 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 no, 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 what she talking about? See, now, he had a woman running out his mama back, though, so I mean. Oh, you ain't on the line, Dad. That was my cousin. Yeah, you try to put me. Who's going to put me in your problem? My girl's four months pregnant. And he's a cheater. And, and if we find sport. out, if we found out now, if we find out Instead today you that you've been you cheated, you girl. out the door. Yeah. You out the door. Yeah. Period. Period. Yeah. Okay. And you need to get, he yeah. need to be gone, he too. He out got the door. Already. You gotta go. All All right. Right. No okay, uh, okay, 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 right. To get to the bottom of this relationship, who done it with whom and why and when, you both took a lie detector test, gentlemen, and our lie detector administrator, Tim Acosta, is here with the results. Oh, 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 oh. We're going to find out in two more days. All right. Y'all going to run in the day. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so let's find out who's running their mouth and who's telling the truth. Coming up, Let's find out about this phone. Yeah, thing. let's find out. David, we asked you, do you know the woman who called your phone? Oh, you said yes. I met her with Pete. I met her with Pete. You didn't meet her with me? That's when you gave up my number. Up next, he lured them both to the casting couch with promises of stardom. Why do you call him all the time? I have to call him when I have not one, not two, not three, but four kids. Okay, you got four kids with him, but four. guess what? Lies and ugly truths. 
Today on Trisha. This is Sassy. Okay, this is Sassy. Now, when aspiring singer Sassy met a music producer named Chris, he promised to make her a star. But when she went to his studio, instead of making music, they made love. Shortly after, Sassy said Chris met this woman, Tamara, and he promised to make her a star. <laughs> he seduced her and they had an affair behind Sassy's back. Now, Chris denies it, but Sassy believes Chris is still cheating with Tamara and all the other women he lures into his music studio. Yeah. So, Sassy, what, what do you think Chris is up to? Do you think this up is... Up to no good. <laughs> No good. So it's a bit of a complicated history. Tell me about how you met him. Well, I met Chris some years ago, and he was doing the music thing, mm -hmm. and I was singing, and, you know, it was great. You know, I loved it. This music is what I like to do. I have a good time doing it. Now, but... you, you went to his studio, and he was telling... Did you think he was single? Um, yeah, I, I really did. I thought he was single, you know. But? But he wasn't. He wasn't single. So now you've been together eight years. The whole eight years, or did you split up? Um, it was a period of time where we, we had split up, yeah. And what did he do up. when you were split up? Was he alone? He was busy. <laughs> he was busy off having kids with Tamara. Oh. How, many, how many kids are we talking about? Um, he has four children with her. Oh. How long were you two apart for him to produce four we children? Was, uh, we was apart for, I would say, about two, almost three years. Three years and he produced four children. Yeah, he produced four children Ooh. with her. Yes, he did. But you, how come you hooked up again? Well, um, in 2009, um, we met back up at a nightclub, you know. Was he single that time? From what, I, from what I know, yes. Yeah. And once we hooked up, you know, it was sparks. I felt like he had changed. He was a better man. Yeah. You know, everything was going to be fine between us besides what happened. Yeah. So you know, why, why, do you think, why are you suspicious now then? Oh, why am I suspicious? Uh, yeah. Because of everything that I've done seen. Well, so tell me, what have you seen? Have you found anything? Oh, I found naked pictures. I found text messages. Say what? I, uh, uh, Beautiful, how you doing, baby? Take, let me see something. Text me something. You know, pictures of the breast, pictures of you know the backside. Everything, yes, everything, everything, yes, yes. You think he's cheating with just or with just with these other women, or do you think he's back with his ex tomorrow as well? Well, honestly, um, I don't know what's he doing. Right. I don't know what's he doing, but I do know he's doing something, and that's why I'm here today to find out what it is. Okay. <laughs> You seen the text messages? You seen the? How does he explain the pictures, by the way? Oh, baby, those are pictures from the internet. They're not real pictures. If they're not what? real pictures, why do I see a dresser in the background <laughs> of the girl bending over like this? Oh my! Every day she's in a room or something. Now, Tamara, he still talks to Tamara. Oh yeah, he talks what, to her a couple of times a day. <laughs> um, I've seen on his phone where he done had seven, eight missed calls from her because he's with me and he don't want to answer the phone. Oh, he doesn't want to answer the phone. No. And then there's times where he does answer the phone because he's sitting right beside of me, but he cuts his conversation short while he's talking to her on the phone. Okay, so you're saying he doesn't take care of his kids? No, he does not. And the whole reason why I'm not understanding is this. You know, you call him because you want him to take care of his children, but he's not going to do it. So he, has, he has other children that he don't even take care of that he don't see. How many children does he have? He has a total of seven children. <laughs> four baby mamas. Four. One, two, three, four. Four baby mamas. Do you think he brings these women into your home? These other women you Well, there was one particular time where I was gone away from my home mm -hmm. and a neighbor seen him bring an undisguised woman into my apartment. No. Did you ask him about that? Yeah, I asked him about him. What did he do? Lied. He lied. That's all he do. So, let me just ask you about your sex life. Has that changed? It's just, it's done changed dramatically. In what way? In a, in a major way. You know, I, I'm young. I'm vibrant. You know, I, I like to get my groove on. Yeah. But I'm not gonna get my groove on with him. Because if he's out getting his groove on with ha, 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 and ha, it ain't gonna be with me. It ain't gonna do it. I'm not having it. 
I'm not doing it. So it's not going to work. I don't know what the lie detector will say, but if the lie detector test comes back and says he has been cheating on you, what are you gonna, going to do? I'm going to walk off his stage and leave him sitting right here, right beside of Tamara. <laughs> I don't want to go through this. I ain't got time for this. No, I don't got time for it. I, I, I'm fed know, up. You know, I've heard, I've heard from a lot of guys who actually say they're cheating. It's a money thing. So do you, who looks after Chris? Who pays for everything? Uh, who else? You. Yes. Yes. Got, it's me. I buy him clothes. I buy him jewelry. I get him money in his pocket. Yeah, I'm stupid. Yes, and I'm blinded by the love and everything, that's why I'm here. Because I need to know. I need to know inside my heart. Uh, you know? It's driving you mad. Okay. Well, let me tell you, Chris's ex, Chris's ex, Tamara, is here. Now, she's taken a lie detector test, and we're going to hear from her in a moment. But before we get to that, let's hear from Chris. Chris, come on out. Up next. Is this philandering impresario up to his old tricks? You ask these women to send you pictures to see if they're marketable. Yeah. Why do they need to show, show pictures of their backsides? Uh, I can't to... help what they're seeing, you know. You can help what they're seeing if you I take them tell them to send it to you. No, no, no. Send me a picture of your boobs. Send me a picture of this. That's what you're saying? And later. We asked you, do you know the woman who called David's phone? You said no, Tim. The polygraph determined that Pete... Oh! Lovers lies and ugly truths. You are nothing. Today on Trisha. So now you've been together eight years. The whole eight years, or did you split up? A period of time where we had split up, yeah. And what did he do up. when you were split up? Was he alone? He was busy. <laughs> he was busy off having kids with Tamara. How many kids are we talking about? Um, he has four children with her. So he has he has other children that he don't even take care of that he don't see. How many children does he have? He has a total of seven children. Four baby mamas, four. Do you think he take, brings these women into your home? A neighbor seen him bring an undisguised woman into my apartment. The lie detector test comes back and says he has been cheating on you. What are you gonna, going to do? I'm going to walk off this stage and leave him sitting right here, right beside of Tamara. Let's hear from Chris. Chris, come on out. Hi. You know you ain't right. 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 How y'all doing? Chris. Christmas, so you ask these women to send you pictures to see if they're marketable. Yeah. Why do they need to show, show pictures of their backsides? In uh, order I can't to... help what they're seeing, you know. You can help what they're seeing if you I take them, tell them to send it to you. Oh, no, no. Send me a picture of your boobs. Send me a picture of this. No, no. That's what you're saying? Like That's this. what you're saying? It's like this. It's like nothing. Ain't nobody here to leave you. I ain't worried about this. You a liar. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. All right, all right, all right. No, no. So help me out here. When you... Chris, when you first met Sassy, you yes. were in a relationship. Uh, no. Yes. Oh, let's hear it. You were in a relationship. Yeah, when I first met her, yeah, I was. Yeah, you were. So, now, you two split up and you got back with Tamara. Yes, ma'am. You had four children. Yes, ma'am. Um, and then, did, were you cheating on Tamara during that time? No, I was did you have a one night stand? Didn't you have a one night stand with yeah, him? Yeah, I had a one night stand with him. When he what was, was with her. What was this? When, he, when you was with her and you was, I stayed. On that street uh, you got in Louisville, uh, Kentucky, man. I dropped you off up the street from where her mama stayed. Hey, what book? <laughs> so, are you, so tell me, what do you do? You're a music producer. Yes, ma'am. What, what, what exactly? Let's hear. What, what exactly do you produce other than children? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I, I write songs and. Do the engineering, mix and mastering, and also do the photo shoots and stuff like that. So uh, earn around. you a lot of money? Yeah, I'm pretty penny. That's a pretty penny. Where's that? Penny? <laughs> Not in your pocket. And it ain't in yours either. So you earn a, a pretty penny. You you give that to tomorrow for the children, right? Yeah. No, you don't. That's why you got your head down. Why you no, lying to Trisha? No. Why you lying to her? No. You know tomorrow is here, don't you? Yeah, no, that's so not let me mama. ask you that again. <laughs> this pretty penny that you make, you give to Tamara for the children. Do you uh, or do you not? 
I plead the fifth. Huh? Wait, wait, wait the fifth. This ain't court. This ain't Judge Judy. This is Trisha show. I know. that everything that comes out of your mouth is <laughs> Could it be because the words you have difficulty in saying on a serious note, you find it very difficult to say yes or no? I've been asking you really straightforward questions and you don't seem to be able to give me a straight answer. When people are evasive like that, I get damn suspicious. <laughs> I understand. Your reasonings are good. Yeah, I wouldn't be with him, darling. I wouldn't have been here. I'm sorry, I'm with a guy and he lies to me from the get-go that he's in another relationship. Bye-bye, <laughs> bye-bye. <laughs> right, when we come back... When we come back, we're going to hear from Chris's ex, Tamara, and we'll get to the results of both lie detector tests. We'll be back. Coming up... Why do you call him all the time? I have to call him when I have not one, not two, not three, but four kids. OK, you got four kids with him, but four. guess what? Where do you get the money to look after these babies? I don't get a meal. How do you put a roof over their heads? We don't have a roof right now. We are homeless. Oh, and later... Pete, we asked you, do you know the woman who called David's phone? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Pete... Lies and ugly truths. Today on Trisha. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're talking to uh, Sassy, who's convinced her music biz boyfriend, Chris, here, is seducing female singers with promises to make them stars. Now, one of those women, Tamara, is backstage. Now, Sassy and Chris broke up for a few years, am I right? Uh, after Chris confessed to cheating with Tamara. So you were kind of going back and forth. Well, today, Chris and Tamara have four children. That's, you heard that right. You have seven children in all? Yes, ma'am. Now, you're saying it's over with Tamara. Yes. Well, me and her haven't had nothing sexual in years, so it's been over Why with. do you keep asking her for sex? I'm not asking her for sex. Uh, that ain't what it said on your voicemail. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. We're talking about messages being saved. I'm more interested in the content. Anyway, Tamara has this very sassy message for our sassy. Watch this. Sassy, let's get one thing straight. I am not going anywhere. I am in your life forever. Chris is the father of my four kids, and if you don't like it, you can kick rocks. I am not sleeping with your man. You can have him. I just want him to take care of his kids. Today, I am not the one that needs to back out. You are, Sassy. Whoa. Well, let's welcome Tamara to the show. If because he wants to be with you, you messing about you what? Got nothing to do with How you. you got nothing to do with me? me but you left a message on his phone about me. And so what what you mean, call you me and you what? call me and you call me and you call me and you call me Because I'll let you know that I will never keep him from sit your sit kids. Sit down, I want to hear, I want to hear from this tomorrow. This man needs to be with his kids. So why, so let me ask you something tomorrow. Why do you think that Chris isn't coming around to spend more time with your kids? I was thinking it was because of her. Let me ask you outright, do you want to get back with Chris? I don't want him. Then why do you call him all the time? I have four kids with him. But so honey, what? I have to all you need to do him. is call one time. No, I have to call him, honey. I have not one, not two, not three, but four kids. Okay, you got four kids head. with him, but four. guess what? Four. But guess what, though? Four. If, he don't re if he's not answering, I'm returning your calls. What does I'm that mean? Keep, I'm gonna keep okay. calling to him. Well, then, you need to be with her. Tamara, you're not sleeping with Chris. Are you? Is that what you're saying? Mm-mm. Just a minute. Has be he been asking you for sex? Yes, he has. I told you. L let's just come to the lie detector test. Stop making excuses. Where's the test Stop making excuses. Where's the test Yeah, where's the test All right. 
both Chris and Tamara took lie detector tests and here to help us get to the bottom of this issue is our lie detector administrator Tim Acosta. <laughs> start with Chris's uh, lie detector results. I, I don't know what they are. We asked you, have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone else other than Sassy in the past three years? You said no. Tim. The polygraph determined that Chris was not being truthful and it was at least three women. Really? Really? <laughs> we asked you, are you cheating with the woman your neighbour said went into your house and stayed overnight while Sassy was out of town? You said no. Tim. The polygraph determined Chris was not being truthful. Really? Oh, wow. Really? Oh, wow. In my house? Oh, In my man. house? Oh, wow. the house? That's the haters, you man. You are nothing! That's the haters, you man. Are That's the oh, haters. You are nothing! That's the haters. That's the haters. You are nothing! That's the haters. You are nothing! That's the haters. You are nothing! That's the haters. You are haters. That's the haters. You are 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 haters. You was not being true. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, well, well, that part is wrong. Well, I'm going to let you know it now. Hang on, let's find out. Let's go to the one. I don't want him to have sex with him in four years, honey. Yeah, I don't want him. But he just said that he had sex with you. There's no, something wrong with that. Hang on, let's go. Let's go. We did the lie detector test with Tamara. Let's find out what. We asked you, have you ever had sexual intercourse with Chris in the past three years? You said no, Tim. The polygraph determined that Tamara was not being truthful, and it was at least three times. We asked you, are you in love with Chris? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Tamara was not being truthful. Oh. 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 That test went third. We asked you. are two different things. We asked you, are you using your kids in order to get Chris back? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Tamara was not being truthful. Wow. Let me take it. Hang on, just a minute. Just a minute. Tamara, I'll put that on my Tamara, kids. Tamara, yeah. Tamara and Chris, can I just talk for a minute? Let's, let's just stop. You've got four children from the, with Chris from what age to what age? From Seven to four. Seven to four. Where do you get the money to look after these babies? I don't get it from him. How do you put a roof over their heads? We don't have a roof right now. We are homeless. Don't oh. act like you don't know, Chris. I, I, I told know. you we got put no, out of our apartment. You tell me that. Yes, I did. Where'd you tell me yes, that? Yes, I go. You don't lie again. Let me get this right. Everybody and everything is lying except you. Am I right? Uh, the, the whole, uh, the whole say, of question was hang on, just a minute. You're saying seriously that you have four children with Tamara and, and she calls you, we know that. Mm. She's left messages, we know that. Mm -hmm. And you're still saying you didn't know she was homeless. I promise everything I love. Everything I love, I did not know that. I can't deal with that. I got too many kids to take care of. I got six kids, four of them that is his. Four mm. of them that is his. Oh. Time for all that. Sassy. You know, let me just tell you something. Uh, well, you don't need to. Hit, you you know this, Tamara. If you get if you get with a man who's already cheating when they get with you, guess what? You've laid the foundation for the future of the relationship. I guess you gotta go back to your mom and daddy's house. Uh, I can go anywhere. I can go anywhere. Chris, I want to help you. I really want to help you. Can I assist you? Would you allow me to assist you? Stand up for me, just a minute. Okay. Um, to Chris, this is your moment of fame. If you meet this gentleman and he tells you he's a music producer and he can make you a star, run, run, run! Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back. Up next, let's find out about this phone. Yeah, thing. let's find out. David, we asked you, do you know the woman who called your phone? Oh, you said yes. I met her with Pete. I met her with Pete. You gave up my number. You are the fuck. You're a <laughs> Lovers' lies and ugly truths. You are nothing. Today on Trisha. Aviance and Shandora, two sisters in love with cousins David and Pete. 
I love Pete with all my heart. We've been together eight years. Me and David have been together for two years. I'm four months pregnant with his child, and I love him. I picked up my boyfriend's phone, and it was another girl on the line asking him to hang out. When my sister confronted her boyfriend, he claimed that the call wasn't for him, that it was for my boyfriend, and that my boyfriend was cheating. One of us is being lied to and cheated on, and I want to know who. I don't appreciate my cousin David selling me down the river to save his own butt. Look, I love my cousin, but my girl is four months pregnant. I don't want to lose her, so I can't clean and tell the truth. Pete need to be honest. He the one cheating? I need to know what the hell is going on. I want to know who's lying and who's telling the truth, and I want to know now. David, we asked you, do you know the woman who called your phone? Oh, you said yes. I met her with Pete. I met her with Pete. You met her with me? That's when you gave her my number. Oh, so you know who the woman was. How well do you know the woman who called your phone? Well Not... enough to be banging her. Oh. <laughs> That's a lie. Pete gave her my number. Huh? She got my number from Pete. Let's come to Tim. So David admitted that he knows the woman who called the phone. Yes, he did. David actually said that she was calling for Pete, and I asked him that on an exam. The polygraph determined that David was being truthful. You. Are you cheating with the woman who called your phone? You said no. He hit it. The polygraph, the polygraph determined David was being truthful. Let's find out Pete's results. Pete, we asked you, do you know the woman who called David's phone? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Pete was not being truthful. <laughs> with the woman who called David's phone? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Pete was not being truthful. Okay, Pete's lie detector results. This is general cheating. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone else other than Aviance in the past two years? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Pete was not being truthful, and it was at least more than women. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta go. He gotta go. He gotta go. What? He gotta go. How? I'm done. We asked you the night that Shandora followed you home from work. Down the long dark road. Were you on the way to another woman's house that you were cheating with? You said no, Tim. The polygraph determined. That Pete was not being truthful. David's lie detector results general cheating. We asked you, are you in love with Shandora? You said yes. Tim? Hell no. The polygraph determined that David was being truthful. Oh, my God. Go, David. You need to learn from David. We asked you, have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone else other than Shandora in the past six months? David, you need to stop lying. You said no, Tim. The polygraph determined that David was not being truthful. Oh. You. It's the girl that Shandora saw at your mother's house. Oh, that's the one you said was running out the back door. Exactly. Was that someone you are cheating with, on her with? You said no, Tim. The polygraph determined that David was not being truthful. He's a bad guy. So I 
might, I'm not at all shocked. You might not, you might have seen my face. I'm not at all shocked. Both of you are not very good liars. Mm -hmm. What are you really going to do? Because you're three months. I don't even so know what other woman was trying to look like. He got plastic bags packed up already with his clothes. They'll be on the porch waiting on him when we get back. Whether you do it on camera or off camera, you're more likely to get more empathy and sympathy if you come clean and tell the truth. Exactly. A lot of guys, a lot of guys have messed up their relationship because they'd rather be so stupid as to sit here and claim that Tim is telling a lie when they know that they're telling a lie. Trisha, what I'm doing when I get back home, David getting the little pat, the little stuff that he do have at my house, he getting you it. Your and stuff. He I'll pay you right now. I pay, you leave. It. And he's gonna jump in Pete Cotton down that dark road. You take it back to his mother. He got to go Dude. to that. He got to go to that. They gonna go 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 jump in Pete Cotton down that dark road. That's what they gonna do. We'll be right back. <laughs> Lovers lies and ugly truths. You are Today on Trisha. <laughs> Do you have a family who done it mystery that can be solved with a lie detector test or a DNA test? Well, visit our Facebook page or follow us on Twitter and tell us all about it. So thank you for watching. Take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. <laughs>